In this scanning electron micrograph, neutrophils are attached to a flat surface, and we can see the abundant folds of their cell membranes. We can also see that the neutrophils are infected with the gram-negative bacteria Shigella, which appear as rod-shaped objects and are colored red. Also visible, in blue, is a fine mesh of fibrillar material, called a neutrophil extracellular trap, or net, that is able to capture many of the Shigella bacteria. A net is created when a dying neutrophil extrudes the contents of its nuclei, including chromatin, into the surrounding environment, through a special form of cell death called netosis. In this video, human neutrophils were stained with a dye that turns their nuclei blue, and then chemically activated to induce netosis. The media used to grow the cells contains an antibody that fluoresces green when chromatin is extruded from the cell, which allows us to view the process that creates nets. As shown by the timestamp, the video compresses four hours of real time into approximately 13 seconds. The nuclei of healthy neutrophils typically have several lobes, as we see here at the start of the experiment. However, after approximately 30 minutes, the nucleus in this cell, as well as many other cells, begins to disintegrate, as we can infer from the breakdown of the lobular pattern and the diffusion of blue dye throughout the cytoplasm. After an additional 15 minutes, the cell extrudes its contents into the extracellular space, as shown by the green clouds. As the experiment continues, additional neutrophils undergo netosis until about half have generated extracellular nets. During infection, microorganisms become entrapped in the nets, which makes it easier for neutrophils or macrophages to phagocytose the intruders. Patients with chronic granulomatous disease have trouble forming reactive oxygen species, or ROS, a necessary ingredient for the formation of nets. Subsequently, these individuals experience reduced net formation, and it is believed that this may contribute to their susceptibility to microorganisms.